So here's what the icon looks like. It's available for anybody using iOS, so an iPhone or an iPad. I've got it on both mine. So click on it to start it. The first time you start, it's going to ask you to sign in. Um, if you don't, I mean, there's continue with Apple, you continue with Google. I'd use Google because I have a Google account and that's my main account. Um, boy. Okay, so this is Canva when you first pull it up on the iPad. Um, I phone version is very similar except for these options are across the bottom instead of across the side. And that's the difference between your screen sizes. But what you do is the same for either your iPad or your iPhone. Okay, so you're gonna come over here and click on templates. And then up here in the search bar, we're gonna type in recipe. And the one that you want is this fourth one down. See, it's got a little bit different icon because that means that that's a, a template. So you're gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna show you a different way to do this. If you're using the iPad, the next step, all you have to do is click here where you wanna do a blank design. And that's it, you're done. Okay, but on the iPhone, you don't get this option that I can find. So on my, I'm using my iPhone, I just pick a card, pick this one, and then I clear it out. So I just start clicking on stuff and hitting the trash can. And I can't figure out how to select them all at once. So you're just going to have to select them one at a time. Unless somebody can come in and tell me how to select them all. Okay, so there's our blank card. And you can go up here and see where it has a title. And I will change that title. To toppers. And hit the hit the return key. You did wrappers. But oh, you know I see it works. Yeah, you know how it works. I typed wrong. I'm trying to do this sideways. So, okay. So here's our blank screen. So now we want to go ahead and put images in. And what I did is I went to Google Images, and I searched for seamless backgrounds. But you can do um, seamless, what are they, seamless images, tiled images, tiled backgrounds. Any of those are going to give you more than likely what you're looking for, which is something you can make a pattern out of. So I downloaded, I don't know, 20 or so from Google to do this. So we're going to start by clicking on the camera roll. And that's going to come up and it shows you all the images that I've downloaded that are tileable. So we're going to pick this one. And then we'll go down here and we'll do add image. Okay, but that is too big because you kind of have to use your imagination. That is going to be too big. Your topper is going to go with the top two inches or the bottom two inches. So you want to watch and or see and reduce your pattern enough that it's going to show on your toppers what it is. You know, otherwise, it's just going to be one big blob and it's not really going to show you. So you want to reduce the size. So you select it. See, so it got a box around it. And you can click on any corner, whichever corner you're comfortable on. I always do this one. Click this and then just slide while you have your finger down. And we're going to slide it down to about there. That way, it more of it's going to show on your topper and it's going to look better. So I'm going to increase my size of my, of my template real quick. And we're going to click in the middle of this. Now you're not clicking any of the things. You're just clicking in the middle and you can slide it over. And see how it slides and, there, and that bar appears? That's the halfway point. So... You want to slide it so it clicks between the halfway point and the edge. And it clicked and it was it was solid. So now we want to tile that all the way across the top half. So with it selected, you hit the plus. That gives you a second copy. So again, click in the middle and you bring it up and you can just if it you can it'll snap right into the next one. I'll go ahead and deselect this one. Um, but you can see our purple our purple ornament is whole now because it took the edge of that one and the edge of this one and seamlessly put them together. Okay, so. And then if you don't deselect, if you keep it selected and you hit the plus, it's going to automatically put it in the same row and everything. So then I just do plus all the way across the card. 
So there you go. Now so we got our first row. And then we're going to select the first one again. We're going to do the plus. We're going to bring it up till it locks into there. And again, it's seamless down at the bottom. Our little pink ornament in the corner here is now complete. So we're going to hit plus. And it went ahead and did it up because, because I didn't deselect it to do that. And that's okay. Um, but go back to this middle one. Plus again. And it, you can see how it just kind of clicks into place. Don't deselect it again. Hit your pluses. Oops. And if you miss, yeah, just the size of the accident. Okay. And so far, you, you mean you've really seen this. You can't really tell where anything was. So we'll go back to this one. And we're going to do the plus. Slide it over. That's not lined up. You want to make sure that your purple one is back all together. If it's not, you need to move this up or down to make it do that. Okay, so, whoops. Ah, sorry, I deleted that. So we're going to do another one. I'm going to slide it up into here. Whoops. Okay. Okay, so there's your top half of your card. So when you use your, your Cricut or your Silhouette, um, you can just take a 4 by 6 area on your on your mat, your mat that it's going to show you. I know in the Silhouette it has uh, measurements down the side, so you can make sure you're doing 2 by 6 um, Okay, so now we're going to do the bottom. And my daughter wants us, me to do this one. <laughs> so I'm going to click on that one, and I'm going to add it. Okay, again, way too big. So, put the corner, bring it down about right there, I guess. Then we're going to bring it over here and click it into the corner. Click it right up to there. Okay, so then plus, slide it over again until it locks. And you can see that it's seamless. It went through, so I'm just going to do my pluses all the way across. Okay, and we'll stick on this one. Again, it's matched up when you add one. So, whoop. Yeah, it isn't matched up. No, it isn't matched up because this one isn't all the way over. Still not all the way over. Yeah, but now that whole side is screwed Yeah, up. there. Nope. No, how come I can't get that to click into the, into the edge? There we go. Okay, so because of that, we'll have to go into these, each one of these, and scoot them over by or hand. Or just delete them all and restart it. Yeah, or just delete them all and, and restart. Um, but I'm actually kind of glad this happened because it gives me a chance to show you how you can fix it. That go? What am I in? Okay. Still not right. Still gotta. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it might be faster just to click on them to delete them and start over. There we go. And see how I'm pushing it over the other image and then bringing it back makes it easier to do your snaps. Okay, so there we go, all the way across. Okay, so we're gonna delete this one. We're gonna fix this one. Again, see how I brought it down and then brought it back up? Because that allowed me to more make it lock into those areas. Okay, so let's do our next one. Get that locked in. Then we're going to do this all the way across. Just by hitting the pluses. Okay, I'm all the way across. Then we'll go back down to this one. Plus, bring it down to the bottom. See how it snapped together. Okay. figure out what I'm getting into. Okay. Try this one again. It didn't. There. Okay. So just look. I mean, and you can pinch in to come up bigger to look again and make sure that you know that your that your lines are lined up. And then 
and we'll bring this one over till it snaps. Yep, and that works. Okay, whoops, what did I do? Oh, I added a page. <laughs> Scroll up, there you Scroll go. Scroll up, there we go. Okay, so let's make this smaller so you can see. Oh, yeah, I can edit this so I can edit all that out. Okay, so we're gonna finish this. I had, what happened is I accidentally clicked and added too many of these images and one of them was way down and you couldn't even really see it because it was behind this row, but it was affecting my being able to click and make it pop into the, the, to the corner, basically. So we'll click on our image, Zoom Plus, bring it over so that it snaps into that, and plus again, plus again, and all the way across. Okay, so here's your four by six card. You'll cut one topper out of the top, you'll cut one topper out of the bottom. And what I do is I um, click this little down arrow and it saved it as an image, or it's saving it as an image if you look down here. Doo -doo -doo, taking a while. And you can add page, there's an add page link at the bottom, and that gave me a second card, so you could do you know, like when I did the last one, I did five cards in one file. And so I was able to um, upload those five images. Okay, so we're going to go back to our main screen. And I'm going to click photos. Back to where I was. Okay, so if you look in your photos, this was the second page that was blank. Here's our, here's our card. If you look at it you'll see it's this half and this half. And so you go to, I'm gonna do CVS cause that's the store that I use, but you can do Walgreens, you can do Walmart, you can do anywhere where you can do, that does Prince photos. Okay, so we're gonna come up here and do CVS. Um, S dot, um. Okay, my head's gonna get in your way because I got some read over here. You wanna go to shop? Photo. Photo, there it is. Here. Yeah, thank you. There you go. Okay, so photo. So what I did is I did shop and then photos down here at the bottom. So I go to photo. Ready? Okay, so you're in CVS photo. You wanna go over here to where it says prints. I'm gonna pick four by six. Okay, and this, you could add your photos from your tablet here instead, but one of the options when you add it is get them off your CVS account. So you click there, and you can see this is one we uploaded today, so I'm going to select that. It's selected. I'm going to do add to photos, or add to order. Okay, I can't see what's going on. There it goes. Okay, so... One, four by six. Four by six, top one. Yeah, it has is one right now. Okay. And do, okay, so it tells you right here, you print or order how many you have, which is one. Go down. <laughs> it doesn't want to go down. Click here. Anyway. There you go. To make sure it's matte glossy. Yeah. Okay, so um, you can do glossy or matte. I prefer glossy. And I do go ahead and do a UV resin over them anyway. Um, but you could do glossy and probably not even do any kind of a top sealer coat at all. Just glue the topper to your blank. Okay, so I'm going to do glossy. We don't need a college photo. No, but is that what that is? Okay. Yes. Okay, so, oops, picked glossy. And then I'm going to do order now. And it's going to come up, and there it is. And I'm going to do add to order. Wait there it is. It's, added in my cart. It added yeah, it added this. I'll just leave it. Go to cart. Oh, go to cart. Oh, well, I'll clear, clear that out where I can look at that. That's the right one. This is the wrong one. No, right? no. this is this is this is the wrong one. Okay, so this is the wrong one. Move, move, There you go. Oh yeah, I got forty-one cents is more like it. Okay. 
So I did add to order, and then to get to the screen, I did um, view cart. View cart, and that brought this up. So it brings it up. You can see you've got your print in here. It'll tell you how many how many images are in that print. So you might have five altogether if you did five at a time, um, and it would say five here, and you would have your month. So anyway, you just go down here to check out. Check out. Do a payment method, your billing address, whatever you want to do. There's a way to say you want to pick it up. You can have them mailed to you. I don't know if that's an extra cost or not. I have it covered because your address is right there. Okay. I don't care if my address is right there. Okay. So then you would click place your order to go ahead and place your order. I'm not going to do that right now because I actually want to go in and do a whole bunch more um, before I order them. So anywhere you, you order from or anywhere you... Um, Wrong place. Anywhere that you want to get your prints done, four by six is very um, common, and pretty much anybody who does any kind of photo prints will be able to do your four by six. And it's very inexpensive. And it's inexpensive. When I did my last one, I did five prints, and it cost me two dollars and four cents with tax. Um, that works out to about twenty cents a chopper, which is unbelievable. And so, um, there you go. That's how you do it. Thank you.